Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is uh, the Saving Your Disaster campaign, Psionic Escalation. We're continuing right where we left off the last time to remind ourselves we got a pretty solid hold <clears throat> on this area. We got Malcolm X over here, not really in, in a great position. We already used a couple of our resources and we're in combat with a full pack of um, advents, so Got two of the advents over here, plus a stun lancer up here, and of course, not to forget, uh, faceless one plus a pretty high amount of enemies, to be honest. So, this is gonna become interesting. Let's take a look here. So, the first thing uh, to notice is this here is even worse than it looks because we have a, a few soldiers that just simply need to reload. And as we're doing that, we're going to lose further time. Got ourselves a nasty uh, stun lance up here. And we somewhat got to deal with him. For now, let's see that we can root out the loss. There's yet another one over here. Wow, okay, so that's going to... that is going to be bad. I am toying with the idea of a frost bomb for the stun lancer, but the bigger problem really is to deal with the losts for now. So... It's not going to be a 100% chance to kill him, but a decently high chance. A 66% worked like a charm. Let's take a more aggressive and better position outside here. And now the real question is, do we want to... Uh, the grenades are triggering even further loss. We actually do not want to do that. It's only a 50-50 against the stun lancer. Don't like it. I don't like it. So what else can or should we do? You know, that's not too bad. Problem, by the way, with the shield is um, it also prevents, to my, uh, to, if I recall correctly, I haven't used the frost bomb in a while, it also prevents the frost bomb from working as the frost bomb deals no damage, but the shield itself uh, prevents the uh, unit from being affected. So, for instance, the shredding would only happen if your grenade deals more damage than the shield. And I think the same holds true for the frost bomb, which is a real problem. Got some good shots on, um, on the stun lots up there. The end of the day it's the same question as always do we want to deal with even more loss if we're now using a grenade to get rid of his cover right that's a real tough question not easy to answer i can see that we might want to uh, explode the car with a remote start. I think w that would not yet trigger the loss, but it would injure both of them substantially. So that would not be the worst idea. The other option is going up here, kind of throwing that claymore next to him and dealing with the stun lance. I absolutely w I don't want to let the stun lance live. So yeah, as much as it pains me, since 
this guy here is not 100% kill. That's one, two, that's eight damage, so 66% chance again. If we could hit him though, yeah, we don't want to waste anyone's shots either. We don't want to waste anyone's shots either. So let's leave them for the time being. Unfortunately, that means got to use the grenade up here now. That will not shred him. It will deal some damage though. And more importantly, it will take away the cover, which is really what I care about. That could be a solid kill. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate it. Good. So how do we want to go about the rest? We could explode this here and start letting uh, letting the enemy be swarmed with even more losts. Gonna happen anyway sooner or later, so might as well do it a bit earlier. That's 24 points of damage. Gets rid of all of the shields and shreds him nicely, but of course at the expense of another swarm of losts. Wow, high, high hit point lost uh, dashers. Ouch, that sucks. Can we get upstairs is the question. Oh, we're, blo we're already blocking the ladder. Well, good job, Saiken, you blocked yourself. Which means in this case, instead of taking shots, I will simply start to move back. It's the more plausible thing to do, believe it or not. Could move to here, but I think that will still mean we're in line of sight. Uh, we're in range for them. Losing a lot of time. I'm concerned that we're not going to make it. So some aggressive plays. This you will hit him, not kill him though, uh, but the blade storm will certainly kill him. Malcolm X needs to be in the middle. in order to make him work. Well, it just gets better and better. It wouldn't be a full-fledged party if there wouldn't be dozens upon dozens of uh, faceless ones. A holy warrior uh, faceless one, well, this game is getting ridiculous. I think he's doing us a favor here. Fortunately, he's not hitting the ones with the high hit points. Well, at least now he did. There's the blade storm. There's the kill. Now we're untouchable. And 
let's hope that I calculated correctly and they can't reach us. Uh, he should not be able to hit us. This guy, however, could have hit us. That was a lapse in calculation. Wow, good. We're being swarmed. Or not so good, rather. Gotta heal ourselves. You know what would be fantastic? It would be absolutely fantastic if we had between the eyes. Just such a good ability. This guy here, by the way, needs to die. Could go to here. Go over here, actually. We only got three more turns, though. So Malcolm is going in further. Let's start with him and his action. Run and gun. Into half cover. This um, transmitter can be destroyed soon. Like I said, trying to get a two for one. We'll do that, but before we're doing it, let's take good care of Mr. Priest. He really dodged that? Oh my gosh. In terms of it being frustrating, that is pretty damn frustrating, not going to lie. How are we going to go about that? Malcolm X, by the way, needs support. Don't want him to become shredded. And I don't mean the super trained shredded version, I mean actual shredded. This here would not help, really. It would take uh, give us an additional round, but it would also hinder uh, or uh, get rid of his cover, which isn't exactly what I was looking for. Now we wait. Gotta use the claymore. Just don't see any other way. We're going to use lightning hands because it costs us the least amount of firepower that we're giving up. Okay, at least. Yep, that's sustenance. It deals. Uh, it does not deal uh, really with the faceless one here, which is a problem. Could move over here, drop a grenade to soften them up. Uh, 
problem that I'm seeing is pretty much running out of time. Absolutely. All right, let's get into a better position. I'm just trying to be mindful how we can deal the most amount of damage to those guys. Unfortunately, every single grenade uh, lets the swarm draw a little bit closer, as you know already. Time to eliminate the dashers. Aid protocol needs to go out to Malcolm X. That might save him from the attack uh, that is going to happen very soon. So let's get rid of the ones that we know we can easily kill. Two, four, six. Yep, that's another kill. I'm not going to move, so we're reloading in this position. This here might be a kill. Why well, has a high chance to be a kill? Again, high chance to be a kill and get rid of the dashers. Only the best. Let's continue to get down the brutes. Comet protocol just to make sure the losses are staying down. We don't want to hit the shield bearer yet. But we can start hitting him with combat protocol. Don't have anything else to do really. Don't want to lose concealment not if we can prevent it no 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 instead uh, let's actively start to move over don't want to get close to the car because once uh, the faces one moves up uh, swipes there will be an aoe attack the car might be hit the car then might explode and i don't want to take that damage so instead what we're going to do is or what i would want to do is to move over here gives us enough time to maybe sneak through and plant the explosive There's the blade storm. No, no. Uh, mind control. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. We're immune to that. So does really matter. Good. And now uh, the actual move that I was scared. 
off. Nice little blade storm attack, that's for sure. Malcolm. I guess I guess we earned that. Or we deserve that rather. Oh boy. Good. We got to get into a better position anyways, so let's move up. Good. And we're kind of at that point where I really need to look for tempo so sometimes reloading is not the right call sometimes the right call is to make sure that you're using the uh, weapon with the lowest damage to actually prevent the mission from being ruined One up, got two shots, that's a 100% kill. What did you expect? I'm running low on ammo. And let's kill the shield bearer. Shot to connect. Unfortunate. reloading here instead we're using the combat protocol uh, to deal with the shield bearer not sure why the drone is now flying completely out of bounds oh my gosh are you kidding me it is exploring areas that have never been explored before Okay, so how about we're moving in over here? I'll be there soon. How about we furthermore? I'm moving up. I'm dealing with a priest. And I think we're on we're we're almost done here. Out. Of course, not before we're not triggering yet another pack. I think we're fine, generally fine, generally speaking. All right, perfect timing indeed to take a reload. Moving up. 
Malcolm needs some healing. Yeah, I really don't want to start uh, to remote start something else, although it is. Or should I reconsider? I think I will reconsider. I mean, yes, look, we could kill this guy. Fair enough, but, but, hear me out. This here, holy moly, that would probably deal with the entirety of the room. I think I made my decision. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. Oh boy, that is hilarious. It's, it was just a better play. Can't really argue with the results, can you? Oh my gosh, that was so hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we we leveled the entire block just for shits and giggles. Doesn't even matter that he shadow bounds him because the spectre has like what four hit points left over. Okay, perfect. We're of course catching fire for no for no real reason. Revival protocol. Not because we need it. Uh, we could have easily used our comet protocol to kill him, but we can do both if needed. Uh, did I just misclick? I wanted to give um, her the opportunity to kill him. Ah, well, whatever. So much for the revenge kill that was denied. We neutralized all of the enemies. Moving up, plant the X4 charges. There you go. Mission done. Signal confirmed. X4 charges are active. And that is it, guys. 49 enemies. It was pre a pretty uh, packed mission. Let's put it this way. The heroes return. Do we get some promotions? Oh, yes, we do. Got ourselves some nice little field medic there. Uh, it's perfect. And some revival protocol right here, which is great as well. The ones that I really wanted to level had been leveled. Or had been promoted. We got another scientist, which speeds up our research efforts. So things are looking good. Let's take a look at our training center as well. Because here, we want to take a 
good look at what else is available. I like scanning protocol, I like Haywire uh, as well, both of them are incredibly strong. I like blast padding however as well, so she has an all around nice package for a support character. Let's give her Haywire. And as for him, definitely medical protocol because uh, we did not have it yet and it is incredibly important. Malcolm X has a few points left over. Holo targeting, well, chain shot is okay, but he gets rapid shot, so it doesn't uh, matter. Implaceable, however, is something that uh, should not miss in his kit. It's too strong of an ability, so you definitely would want to have it. I almost like the idea of blast padding. But let's save some more of the XCOM points for the hero classes. Yeah, I think we're fine for now. It's okay. Got some wounded soldiers, but overall managed to pretty much ace that mission. And we're back in the game. Now, time to... Oh, there's another scientist. Just as if the game wants us to now ramp up our uh, research. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we would be needing. Perfect, we got plasma grenades, which is absolutely, absolutely fantastic and uh, very much will improve our cover removal and shredding capabilities. Very soon we're going to uh, get the resistance comms. Got another 83 intel, so what else? Hunter weapons for 10 days, that's great. Powered armor, oh, let's go with the hunter weapons because the Dark Lens is a very strong sniper rifle, so is his pistol. With that, with that, many um, situations will become easier. Continue to remove negative traits from the soldiers as we go. Good. Can we upgrade that? Yes, for 125 supplies and four power. Gotta upgrade the power as well. Yeah, power relay and one, that is fine. For now, we're doing okay. So in terms of timing, shall we get that one more scientist, three days, or shall we immediately make contact? If we're making contact, we're going to make it here in Brazil because I want the resistance network bonus that allows us afterwards to make instantaneous contact. And we're probably going to, from there, take a good look um, where to get to one of the facilities. We probably knew Australia is the next uh, spot to be. Let's continue with the scientist, just because it's not bad having him. We got the shadow keep uh, the shadow keeper here is there any other project that we would want exosuits not really needed at this point got two cores so let's get one more experimental ammunition but we don't need uh, the support here let's empty that up and continue with a faster training and permanently also station one of them here. Good. Got enough contacts, uh, contacts now, so from now on it's a matter of expanding fast enough. I don't think we need him uh, there yet. Uh, do we have anything better to do? Yeah, I think he, over here is fine. We're okay on power. 
communication can be upgraded. We need a bit more money. We can get that after we finish scanning for the scientist. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. That's bad. Because now we're seeing that the Avatar project continues. Can't reach that immediately. And there is some more intel and supplies for just neutralizing a target. I think we're going to uh, we're going to do that. It's a dark VIP mission. If we would uh, capture him, it'll be 78 intel on top of it, plus a chance for us to get more experience. So that's good. Let's um, do that in the next run, and then from a from a timing perspective. I think the way we want to play it is we're visiting the black market quickly. So finishing scientist, visiting black market quickly. Don't, don't need, even need to visit the black market. Um, we're finishing the scientist, doing the mission, and afterwards we would um, purchase the upgrade. So that will get us to seven contacts. That's plenty. One here, and then really fast expansion over here that should help us what's the bonus machine learning it's not bad probably need to go through here the other option is getting north america this here is one further facility and that's another one Facilities are really far away and he need or the, this campaign here now needs to expand with rapid expansion also a li little bit more uh, supplies will come in So yeah, we're going to do it like that. Anyways guys, this is the end of uh, today's mission. Thank you so much for watching uh, Leave a comment and a like down below as always and if you haven't subscribed yet, it's a great chance to do it Just telling you Subscription gives you access to the videos more regularly. Anyways, take care and see you in the next run. Bye-bye.